Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from around the world. Happy Friday, February 26th, 2021. I'm Tim, and uh, as it's Friday, today is our Walk Through the Word Zoom Bible study. Uh, everybody's welcome to come join us. I'll have all of the information to get set up if you're not already set up. It's a free app. It works on all your devices. All you really need is the invitation link, which will be down below in the video description box with all the other secure links to use to get going and a uh, pinned comment. So tonight, 7 p.m. Central Standard, that would make it 8 Eastern, 6 Mountain, and 5 Pacific Time or West Coast. Uh, if you're anywhere else, you'll have to do your own math because I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so tonight it should be very interesting as it always is. Uh, we're in Genesis uh, I believe we're going to recap about half of Genesis 29 and go right into Genesis 30 and possibly 31 as well. We'll see how the spirit moves tonight, but uh, this is going to be the story where Jacob gets his wives and their handmaids, handmaidens, and uh, basically how God full, continues to fulfill the promise and covenant uh, to Abraham through his seed. And so this is really the establishment of Israel and the um, part of the blessing where that seed and offspring become, well, as it was prophesied to um, Jacob's mom, that she would have two kinds of people. In her. I, I won't go into it. We'll recap it tonight. So if that sounds interesting to you, come join us. Everybody's welcome. I know there's some of y'all that, that have no care to try out Zoom or, you know, to, to give that a go. And, and I don't blame you, but I would encourage you to give it a try. Everybody starts out with their microphone off and their video off. And so you can just kick back and listen. It's kind of like a live stream, except for with a little bit more intimate setting and real-time interaction for questions and comments along the way. So, um, you know, we usually give it anywhere from 15 to 30 plus minutes to kind of just meet and greet and then give everybody a chance to get in there and I, I pray us in, we get into the word and then uh, discuss or go way off topic and fellowship for a while and then uh, call it a night. So I've got a, I got a feeling tonight's going to be particularly interesting and uh, there are some really cool insights that I've been looking forward to sharing with you guys. So um, be there or be square. But um you know, either way, I like to pray over our weekend so that that way for those that aren't going to be coming uh, can still get a little bit of the prayer call action. So um, without further ado, since, uh, let me see, yeah, so we're less than two hours away from the Zoom Bible study. All you have to do is click the invitation link and it'll pretty much take you right there. So uh, come join us. I might actually start the Zoom a little early. Um yeah, we'll just see how it goes. So, I love you guys. Thanks for being here. I'm going to go ahead and pray over our weekend and call it a video, right? So, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you made, and we thank you for your glory and your goodness. Thank you for your many blessings. And as we go into this Sabbath evening, and into our weekend, we just pray that you give us rest in our in our mind and in our hearts and in our souls. That you help renew our spirit and create in us a, a clean heart. And um, just transform us through the renewing of our minds. God, we ask for your renewal, for your transformations, uh, for your uplifting encouragements. And God, I really pray for each and every one of us to be strengthened in our walk and in our obedience. Um, as we seek your wisdom tonight, I, I pray a blessing over our Zoom study. God, that your Holy Spirit comes and teaches and comforts us, that Jesus will come and, and spend that time with us supping in our hearts, giving us that spiritual food and drink that we desire. And Father, I thank you for making all these things accessible as you are the living God and you're a loving God. Thank you for your love and thank you for the life that you've instilled in us all. And thank you for the faith that you allowed your son to author in us. As we go into this weekend, for those that won't be here tonight, God, I pray a special blessing over each one of each and every one of them 
and their their families. Uh, I particularly have had some deaths recently, and um, I would just want to pray for all those that have lost loved ones in the past or are potentially looking in the future to lose or those that have recently experienced loss. Um, just help us all in our grieving processes. Help us with our um, management of grief, no matter how long it may or may not take. God, we know that uh, the best is yet to come spiritually for our eternal weight and nature of the, the glory of things to come. Help us to endure to that point to where we can uh, see and taste at that time that you're good. Help us to taste and see that you're good now. Uh, walk with us and shine your face upon us, God. We just thank you for your, your many provisions that, that you offer to us, even when we don't know that it's you providing God, we thank you for, and that's material and spiritual, um, the things seen and the things unseen. God, I, I thank you for the things that you know we go without considering or the, the stuff that we take for granted. Lord, I, I just, I can't ever thank you enough. And I don't know, it's just, it's a pleasure to be able to pray with each and every person here now or that would come in the future. It's, it's a privilege to be able to be heard by you and that you would give your, your attention to us. Um, but it's not just that you would listen, although that would be enough for me. It's the fact that you actually answer prayer, God. And we've seen the answer to your prayers through over the, well, throughout our lives, but throughout this time that you've called us to prayer call, uh, we've seen a great many prayers answered. Uh, sometimes we've seen the answer as no. And God, we, we just honor your sovereignty and that it's your prerogative and it's, it's your sovereign will that we seek in our lives. So help us to surrender to you. Help us to commit all of our concerns and our cares and our worries and our fears. Help us to commit all of our pain and suffering. Help us to commit all those things into your hands because we know that they're very capable. And so as we go into this weekend, please uplift us. Uh, uphold us and just hold, uh, bring us tight and close into your bosom, God, to be having us in the shadow of your wing as as a hen brings in the chicks. God, help us, um, help us just to feel near to you and give us that drive and passion to draw near to you on our own accord. You tell us in your word that if we draw near to you, you will draw near to us. And so let us do our part and help encourage and inspire that motivating factor in us, not to just be incentivized by the return of that vested time and energy, but to be more proactive in exercising our faith and exercising our walk. Oh Lord, I, I pray a special blessing over each person and their families and as well as their neighbors and even their, their enemies. God, we just pray your love out into this world and over our weekends. We pray your salvation and your grace and mercy. We pray it outward, and we thank you for where you have shed it upon us inward. Um, thank you for all things, and just know, God, that we love you uh, with our, our mind, body, and soul as best we can. Thank you for your grace and mercy when, when we fall short of that glory of yours, and we thank you, Jesus, for atoning for all sin. Thank you for your sacrifice, and let us honor that sacrifice by walking in the power of your resurrection. And so help us to walk this weekend into a fresh start with a fresh week, um, being about our Father's business and trying to manifest the divine will of our sovereign God out into this dark world. God, help us see the light, help us follow the light, and help us manifest and be the light of Christ, which is the life of of all people. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and ask all these things. Amen. All right, guys. I will see you all here just shortly. You guys uh, have a great weekend for those that I won't see or hear later. Uh, go with God. Have a great weekend. Be safe. And I don't know. Take some time to pray to God. And also take some time to listen. So until next time, it's Timmy. I'll see you all later. Over and out. God bless and keep you all, and may his face shine upon us.